Hi, I'm Ryan Nichols, CTU of DSA. And today I want to show you how to work with parts libraries for your moorings. Well, what do we mean by parts libraries? This just means different components from wire rope, synthetic fiber rope, to sensors, floats, and weights, things like that. So when you open Proteus, you start with a blank project, and in fact there's not really much in the library at all for this project. We're going to work with actually one of the built-in templates, quasi-static subsurface mooring. This adds some information to start with, but even still, there's only a couple of chain sizes and wire rope sizes, uh, just to get you started. So where do we get more information? Well, there's actually a bunch of resources on the DSA website. On the Beta Utilities page, if you click the link, you can see you can download a parts library right here. So I'll just download that now. You'll see it's in a zip file which is compressed uh, compressed text files. What I want to do is just copy this into a convenient location. I'm going to extract this here. So you see there's a bunch of text files, library files. But how do we get these into the project? It's pretty straightforward. If we just click on library and then import feature It'll ask us to open the library file. We can find this in the convenient location we downloaded it. And there's a bunch of built-in components and materials. So let's just pick uh, stud link chain, just for example. If we open this, we'll see there's actually a huge range of different sizes of, of uh, chain and qualities. So you can just highlight a bunch of them. If, I, if you just click on one of them, you can see that they've got the, the fundamental parameters, drag coefficient, axial rigidity, and things like that. And you can select those, select the range that you're interested in, even control uh, and select. You can pick cherry pick a few different ones. You click import. Now you can see there's a lot more uh, chain properties in this particular uh, library of components for this project. So how do I apply them? Well, at least for the material properties, we do this through the state generator. And you can see there's a drop-down box here that sets the material properties for the elements that you're working with. So if we, were, if we click on this seg segment of elements here with Amsteel Blue 8 millimeter, we can swap those out with one of the chain sizes that we got here. That's a pretty big chain. But you can see how we can change the properties based on what we have in this particular project. So I just wanted to give a quick overview of that and I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.